In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SSL certificates in cPanel. So I'm going to be using Namecheap shared web hosting for this. This will work in any web hosting that you have cPanel for. may look just a little bit different than mine, but the same options are going to be there. So we're going to go ahead and look for uh, SSL. So it's down here. You just need to scroll down or you can find functions by typing at the top. And you want to click on SSL slash TLS. And that'll bring up this SSL TLS. So what we need to do now is we need to click install and manage SSL for your websites. And we'll click manage SSL sites. Now we'll scroll all the way down. I have quite a few domains on my account here. So we'll scroll all the way down and we don't need to browse certificates because I'm assuming that we're going to act like it's not installed on our web server. So most likely yours will not be installed on the web server. So we're going to need to select your domain. So select a domain that you want to install it on, which and this is the domain that I want to. And then um, we want to go ahead and import, copy and paste the information from our files that we downloaded. Now, if you don't know where to get your SSL certificate, I did do a video previously on where to find one for free. I will put the, the video URL down in the the description box just click on the link to that video that will take you to my previous video where i will show you how to get a ssl certificate for free using zero ssl so we're going to go in ahead and it would have sent us a zip file so we just needed to open up the zip file and then import or copy and paste our um, our certificates so let me go ahead and open that now and this is what it looks like. I'm using a Mac, so I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like on a PC. Um, but you need to open with another program like um, Notepad on a PC. For here, I'm just going to right-click and open with Other. If you're on a Mac, just do this the exact same way. And then scroll down until you see uh, Text Edit. And... You just want to copy all of this, even the begin certificate and the end certificate. So copy it all. We did do the CRT. So this is the CRT. Okay. You see where it says CRT? CA. Okay. So we did the wrong one. So let me open up. You want to first start, start with a certificate. Okay. So open with other. Make sure you start with the certificate first. I really guess it really doesn't matter what order you do them. But just make sure you get you get them in the right in the right ones. So this is certificate.crt. So we're going to copy all of that and make sure it's under certificate CRT. Okay. Now private key. We're going to go to private key now and open with other. And we're going to scroll down and find the text edit again. And we're going to copy this. Now, in most cases, the last part, the certificate, certificate authority bundle is going to be uh, populated on its own. So you don't have to do anything. So we'll click install. It's going to go through its thing. It's going to go ahead and install it. You've successfully updated the SSL certificate. It's now active and accessible via HTTPS on this domain.